Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about global trade item number G10, GTIN. So let's begin our session. What is GTIN, G10? Global trade item number is an internationally recognized barcode system for identifying products in the supply chain. It brought together several old systems like UPC, EAN, JAN, ISBN, etc. to ensure that they all are adhered to the common structure. And this point is important to note is old standards UPC, EAN, JAN all are GTNs now and is still valid. So it is like giving new name GTIN to the old standards so don't get confused with the old standards and this new standard gtin o old standards are now part of gtin and those all are gtins now types of gtin so there are four types gtin 8 which is equivalent to old standard ean 8 gtin 12 which is equivalent to old standard upc universal product code GTIN 13 which is equivalent to old standards like ISBN JAN EN 13 and GTIN 14 which is equivalent to ITF which is a old standard for the cases and the cartons. Every unique product in the supply chain will have one product identifier which is called GTIN. So you are purchasing a product from market shampoo bottle. So if you notice or if you see, you will find one barcode on that product. So that is nothing but a GTIN, Global Trade Item Number. And that is unique across the supply chain, across the globe. So it should not be like two different products having the same GTIN. It is not possible because GTINs are coming from the central organization called GS1. So that takes care of the uniqueness of the barcode or uniqueness of the GTI number which we already discussed in the previous session. GTIs are available in the batches of 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and 1 lakh max for all types of GTIs. Batch size, this batch size 10, 100, 1000 depends on the length of the com company prefix. So this is the company prefix is the code which is given to the manufacturer or the company who is selling the product by the GS1 global standard one and this company prefix is used in the GTIN so the, the length of company prefix decides how many GTINs any product identifier you can purchase from the GS1 that we will see in detail also in other videos we will see uh, this company prefix and the length how it matters so for now don't worry about it all gtins regardless of the number of digits whether it's 8 12 13 or 14 having a similar structure all are following the same structure which is the company code plus item reference plus the check digit in gtn 14 one extra digit is added at the starting which is called the packaging level indicator which is used to identify if it is if it is a case or carton G10 basically the packaging G10 or the item G10 this new standard GTIN 8, G10, 12, G10, 13 can be represented as G10, G10, 14 adding zeros at the left of the number suppose you have a G10, 8 so G10, 8 means 8 digit number but you can represent in the form of GTN 14 how you can apply you can put the 0060 at the starting of the number same same with the GTN 12 if you have a GTN 12 like UPC is 12 digit so you can represent to the 14 how by putting two zeros at the starting of your UPC code or GTN 12 so you can convert these into GTN 14. Right now, this is not mandatory to use the GTN 14. You can still go with your old G GTNs like UPC, EAN. In future, they might 
make this mandatory how g10 barcode look like you can see this is g10 12 barcode first second g10 13 g10 8 g10 14 these barcodes you will see on the product if you shampoo bottle you will see one barcode on that or pen pencil whatever product you are buying from the market you will see some barcode print, printed on the product so that barcode would be either g10 g10 12 13 g10 8. that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video